going on guys? This is Burrs here with the continued series, What Color Kydex Goes With My Camo. Now this is a really popular series. I've had a lot of inquiries about it. I checked with my Facebook the other day, which I'll put a link to down below, about what people would like to see next. A lot of people mentioned Atax FG, which I have somewhere else. I don't have it on hand, but I do have some which I'm going to do uh, continuing with the test. A lot of people also mentioned Pencott Green Zone and Pencott Badlands. Fortunately, I don't have any of that to work with at the moment, but I am in the process of getting some. But I do have some other camo patterns, and the third one that people mentioned was Marpat Woodland. It's kind of a toss up between that and just regular woodland. So, this is Marpat Woodland, which is marine pattern woodland, and we're going to go ahead and see which ones look the best on this one. Now, I have my preconceived idea about which one I think is going to look better on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first color we have here, which is foliage green. Now, as you can see with the foliage green, it doesn't really have the colors that are inside of the Marpat uh, pattern. You have um, a lot you know, greener greens. It's not as light. This is almost like a grayish green, as you can see. So does it go with it? Not really, uh, although it wouldn't be horrible, but it definitely is not the optimal pick if you're looking for a solid color Kydex. And that's what this series is about, taking a sol solid color and putting it on a camouflage pattern. So let's go ahead and take OD green now and put it into the pattern. This isn't a bad choice. It's definitely, I think, an upgrade over what the foliage would be because it does have um, darker greens in here. Although this is definitely, um, probably this will be the darkest green in the pattern. Um, the closest one is up here around here, but it definitely is not any of those colors. But if you're looking to blend in, OD Green is going to do a good job for you if you're looking for Kydex, or if you have Kydex. The third one here is Magpul FDE or FDE Flat Dark Earth. You go ahead and put that in here. And frankly, I think the FDE works well. I don't think it's optimal, but I think it works well. Um, the thing that I don't like about it, though, is that it is on the lighter side. It blends in with this part right here, this color right here pretty much but it still is a little bit on the light side, so it is gonna pop off of there in bright um, situations. So it isn't optimal, but I think, uh, you know, it's probably, at this point, you know, I think it's OD Green's a little bit better than this uh, FDE. But let's go ahead and check out the one I think is gonna do the best. So let's go ahead and take a look at the one I think is gonna do the best, and that is Coyote Brown. Coyote Brown is actually in the Marpat pattern, is one of the color uh, choices that are inside of this pattern here. So for my money, if I'm going to do something with the Marpat Woodland, I'm definitely going Coyote Brown. A close second is probably going to be coming up here in a bit, but as far as the Coyote Brown goes, you know, it, there's a lot of brown in this pattern, and this is, you know, the shade's going to be off a little bit. You know, up here around the top here, I have a little bit of a darker brown that kind of goes with it a little bit more. But, you know, Coyote Brown is going to work with Woodland uh, Marpat very well. And that's definitely my choice at the current time here. This would be number one with uh, OD Green being a uh, close second. Now let's go ahead and take a look at black. Now there is black in this pattern. As you can see here, there is black. I think black's fine. I don't have any problem with using black with this pattern because black is in the pattern. And it's not like it's just little specks. It definitely is uh, pre uh, predominantly through the pattern. So I think, you know, between black, OD Green, and the Coyote Brown, I really don't think you can go wrong. And those are pretty much the predominant color choices that you have when you go to pick out a holster. So I think if you're, you know, looking to, if you're in a woodland environment and you're looking to, you know, use Kydex and whatever, predominantly you can pretty much buy anyone's holster because black, OD Green, and Coyote Brown are the way that you're gonna um, be able to pick from. They're gonna be the choices that you're gonna have for the most part. Now I always pick a couple flyers, a couple ones that are kind of off the uh, you know beaten path as far as color choices go. I'm using this one because I know people will ask about it. You always have that three, four people who ask about some crazy things. This is Atax AU. As you can see, it doesn't blend in at all. And if you're going to use that, you're going to look like a complete idiot. And we also have the shadow gray color. I think this is actually dark shadow gray, which quite frankly doesn't do a horrible job but it doesn't do a great job. So that's another color that I have. This is actually my favorite color just in regard to you know color choice. I like this kind of dark metallic kind of gray look that uh, we have going on here with this uh, dark shadow gray. But I don't think it's gonna work very well with the pattern. So there you have it. That is my review of what color Kydex is gonna go best with Marpat Woodland. This is solid color. A lot of people say, well, why don't you just get the Marpat 
Kydex. Well, the majority of people don't cut, uh, carry the Marpat Woodland Kydex, so you're not going to get it. Ultimately, yes, you'd want to buy the same camo as you have for the, uh, the clothing choice as you would for the Kydex, if they have it. If they don't, and you have solids, this is a good uh, vibe and a good feel you guys can get a feel for here. As far as what we're coming up with, I have Atex AU, I have Atex FG, I have DCU, I have uh, regular Woodland, and I have the Pencott patterns, which should be here relatively soon. As I said, the uh, Pencott's gonna be pretty much the latest videos, uh, but when I get, get those, they're gonna come out real fast. Uh, because a lot of people have been asking about them, but as far as regular patterns I'm going to be doing the woodland one here next and I think you're going to see some interesting things So if you guys have any questions go and let me know if you uh, you know have a thought on this and you want to make a video response They're always welcome and uh, comments down below until next time later Let's go ahead and take a look at 